Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today, we're building a Newton's Cradle. This is a great project to do with your upper elementary and middle school students to explore the world of physics and energy. So we're gonna gather up our supplies here. And the first thing we're gonna do is start building our frame. And we're going to do that first by measuring and trimming some uh, wood skewers. We did 17 centimeters and 10 centimeters, and we need four of each. Now we need to measure the skewers and mark one centimeter in from the ends of each piece, both the long ones and the shorter ones. Keeping the symmetry on the frame of this project is so important to make sure you've got really clean energy transfer. Now we're just using some paper towel tubes and we're going to measure the top circle actually of those tubes and we want to make circles on a piece of cardboard that are about half a centimeter larger in diameter and we're going to need four of these circles so we're just going to trace out the circles using our compass and then trim them out of the cardboard so again just measure the top of your paper towel rolls and then make them about a centimeter wider in diameter and then just cut them out like that and we're going to do that for all eight so we need four for the top four for the bottom now we're measuring and cutting our fishing line we're doing 30 centimeters of fishing line and we're going to need six pieces because we're going to be hanging six marbles on our newton's cradle now we're just using a little bit of blue tack you could use clay this is just to help hold the marbles still and when you're picking your six marbles, you want to pick slightly larger ones, but they all need to be exactly the same size. So now we've got some wood beads, and what we want to do is take the wood beads and just sand down one side so it's nice and smooth and flat. And we're going to do that for each of the wood beads until they're just nice and flat, and this will help us when we're adhering them to the top of our marbles. I'll just go through here there we go each one has been sanded down now we're going to use a rapid epoxy to attach those beads to the top of the marbles you could try and use a glue gun for this um, the epoxy just gives a really firm hold between the bead and the marble so now we're just going to glue the beads onto the top of each marble and make sure that that flat side of the bead is what's being glued down onto the top of the marble and there we go, we're gonna let those set up while we start measuring and preparing the tubes that are gonna be the corners of the frame of our Newton's cradle. So start by making sure that that ruler is nice and flat on the table surface and then put a straight line up the whole side of the tube. And now once again, we're measuring in one centimeter from the end of each end of the tubes. And we're gonna repeat that for each of the paper towel tubes here. And there we go. Now we're going to use just a little tool here. You could use um, a screwdriver, uh, anything that's just nice and hard and pokey to make little holes at those one centimeter marks. And then just gently start to enlarge that hole. We used a pencil and then our skewer until the skewer just fits through the hole. You want it to fit nice and snug. And we're going to repeat that for each of the toilet paper or paper towel rolls. You just want to be really careful doing it because you can tear the paper towel rolls. So it helps if you've got a few extra ones on, you know, sitting around just in case there's a bit of an accident. And there we go. So now we've got those all finished. So we're going to take one paper towel roll and we're going to trace the bottom onto a piece of paper and then make a perfect, uh, cross through the middle there and that will give us our 90 degrees because we want to make sure that every our frame is perfectly square so that's a little trick that we use to get perfectly square frame by making that cross in the circle and then making the marks so now we're going to do the same thing at that 90 degree mark by making a line and then measuring in one centimeter and then making a hole there And 
and we're going to repeat this on all four of the paper towel rolls. So there you can see we've got them exactly 90 degrees apart. Now we've gathered up our pieces here for our frame and we're going to start assembling them. So there's our mark showing one centimeter. You don't want to push the skewer in more than one centimeter because we want to make sure that this frame is perfectly square. So these measurements become very important. And then we're just going to use our glue gun to glue these skewers into place. And we're going to start with the ones on the side and you got to make sure you're using the right holes here. And we're going to do that on a second one here. Make sure those are glued in. Perfect. Now lay those so they're facing out from each other. And now you want those holes, the second holes to be facing in and we're going to attach another paper towel roll there. So see how we've got our holes facing up there and now we can glue those two together. You want to make sure those are face, those second holes are facing the same way. And there you can see we're going to do the same thing on this one. Once again, the holes are facing up as we attach those two long sides of our frame together and glue. Perfect. Now we're going to attach the small skewers in. And this is to create the short side of the frame because our frame is rectangular. And we're going to glue those into place. There we go. Once that glue is set, we're going to attach it to the other side and complete that rectangular frame shape. And remember, we're only pushing those skewers in just to those one centimeter marks and then gluing them into place. That will help us keep our frame perfectly square. And everything's all glued together. Perfect. Now we're going to take those caps that we cut out and we're going to glue them onto the ends here. So we're going to start with the bottom and we're going to put the bottoms on all of the paper towel rolls for our frame. There we go. Last one. Perfect. Now, before we put the tops on, we're going to fill each of these paper towel rolls with sand. This is a really important step because we need our frame to stay really stable and the weight of the sand will help to keep our frame stable when the energy is being transferred through the marble's movement. So now we can glue the caps on once they've got all their sand in. There we go. Perfect. Get that all nicely sealed up and that sand in there. There we go. Now, we need to measure out where we're going to hang the marbles. So the easiest way to do this is to take a paper strip, measure and find the middle mark, and then measure the width of your marbles and then make your marks for the six different marbles. When they're hanging, when not moving, you want them to just be touching. So now we're going to take our fishing line that we cut earlier and we're going to tie it on and then we're going to glue onto each one. And you want to try and center that fishing line as much as you possibly can when you're attaching it to the marble. And we're going to do that for each one. Now it's time. So we've transferred our marks that we measured onto our frame and we also decorated our frame as you can see. And we're going to glue one side of the fishing line to our frame on those marks. So you can see our marbles are just touching. There will be extra fishing line, that is fine. You just want a little bit of extra hang over there so you've got lots of play and you want your marbles to hang about three quarters of the way down. But you want to make sure that they're all exactly the same. So whatever length you've chosen for the first one, make sure the rest of them are all exactly the same. So they're all hanging at exactly the same height. Now grab the other side of that fishing line and we're going to attach it on the other side on those marks again. So you can start to see why the symmetry is so important in this project. There we go. We're just going to keep going along the line here, gluing those into place. And 
and you can see we've got a little bit of extra fishing line hanging over the edges and we're going to trim that at the very end. And you can see how as we're hanging these our marbles are just touching and this is really important so that they have that perfect energy transfer of the Newton's cradle when we're all finished. And there we go. So now we can test out our Newton's cradle, see how it works, watch that awesome energy transfer as we do different things with the marbles. Kids love playing with these and learning all about the Newton's laws as they explore with their Newton's cradle. So you can see all of that fun energy transfer going on. So now you can just tidy up your Newton's cradle by trimming the ends of loose ends of those um, fishing lines all the way around and your Newton's Cradle is finished and ready to go. For more on the science behind a Newton's Cradle, visit steampoweredfamily.com. I'll have a link in the description so you can get more information. Plus, at Steam Powered Family, you can find even more STEM activities for you and your kids. Have a great day. Bye for now.